Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. So today is Saturday, March 25th. We are not really leaving the house until this evening. So today we are switching around our closets. So when we first moved in, we had these two closets. I picked this one because I felt like in my head, Josh had more clothes than me. And I forced him to take this one because he actually has like nice suits that he's spent a long time in his career like collecting and I just thought they deserved more space so they were all smushed together and their hangers on them for the big jackets are like this big so in my head it worked out perfectly that way but it's been a few months obviously since we've moved in we've been living here since August and I'm falling apart in this closet I just have way too many clothes and I have a lot of like sweat sets and big jackets and stuff and a lot of sweatshirts like if all my clothes were just like my normal clothes like I would have like too much space in here but because I have such bulky items I don't have enough space so Josh is letting us switch closets <laughs> it was actually his idea I'm not making him do this but I am very grateful because like I said I oh my gosh I went straight mullet right there okay we're not doing that but yeah anyways <laughs> So we are actually going to binge watch John Wick. Um, that's like one of my favorite movie series like ever. It's so good and the fourth one just came out. So we are gonna go see that tonight. So today we are gonna do this. The house is basically pretty clean. We did a lot of stuff like yesterday and everything. And so we're gonna switch our closets, have a John Wick marathon on the couch and then go have a date night at the movies tonight and see it in theaters. So. This is just like the start of our spring cleaning. Yesterday, I cleaned out the underneath of our kitchen sink and I reorganized our laundry room. So if you guys wanna see those updated into where they're at now, definitely go check out the vlog I have posted before this one. But yeah, Josh has already started, so I'm gonna catch up with him, but we are gonna start by switching out our closets. Okay guys, quick intermission because I just got a package from Walmart. I already opened these and <laughs> <laughs> already waiting for it but i got a package from walmart walmart thank you so much for sponsoring this video i just got some cat stuff and some toys from them now i don't know if i've actually ever talked about this but we only feed sven and marvel perina pro plans they're the only brand of food that works well with their tummies they have a sensitive skin one for Sven, and then they have this one and then a hairball one that i switch back and forth for marvel may so i got her a big 16 pound bag of just this adult complete essentials bag um i normally get the smaller ones but they just don't last long enough and i'm sick of having to go to the store so much so i just got a bigger bag like we'd normally get with Sven, and i just need to go buy like a bigger tub to put it in now and then i also picked up some of these so no one usually has them in a big thing like this, but Walmart did, which was super exciting. So Sissy loves these, but I only usually can buy a couple at a time. But they had a 24 can pack for a very affordable price, so I picked up these. I also picked up a different brand of food that looks a lot like super clean and all these things. And I'm of course going to talk to my vet before giving any to Sissy, but... I picked that up too. It's fallen a little behind on delivery, so I will just post a picture here, but they have great reviews and everyone seems to love it, so I'm really excited to see if I can give it to Sissy and if she'll like it, but if not, at least we have the OG things and I can give that to my sister and their cats. And then, obviously, I got these. These are from the brand called Vibrant Life. They have a ton of dog and cat stuff, and so I got these ones. A lot of the stuff is for Marvel, but... Also got some things that Svenny could play with as well, like this duck. And then Sissy actually loves playing with these things. She likes going like in them and stuff. And then these are also like one of Sven's favorite toys. Um, there are two hedgehogs that go in here, but I'm pretty sure Sissy has one. <laughs> and then I don't know where the other one is. But yeah, he's waiting like a very good boy for his duck. So I'm going to give that to him. So. You got your duck? You like your duck? Get quack quack. Okay, and then let's go see what Sissy's doing with hers. Oh, goodness. So I have the other hedgehog. The other hedgehog. 
I'm famous. The closets are officially switched over. Nothing is staying where it's at, I don't think. I want to reorganize everything but this stuff. This stuff's, the sweaters have to stay there because I need a place to fold them. If anything, they might find a home in a drawer now that I have more space where I can hang things. Um, but yeah, other than that, got a little bench. I'm keeping this desk in here. I just moved all of my makeup in. Um, I still have like a, another drawer and then I kept my makeup bag. Ooh, that was a bad noise. My makeup bag and my brushes in here. So I guess I will figure out what else I want to film there. And then I also have like this section, so the shelf and then down below I have like just a box for now. Other than that, I think my shoes, I feel like I might just be able to take them all off the shelf now and put them under there and then maybe we can do something else with this shelf. Maybe put it, to give it to my parents or something. And then... In here, now I can hang up more of this stuff. And then this rack, I really want to go in one of our spare rooms, but until my parents leave, we don't really have a spare room for it. Uh, so we're just gonna leave it here until then. But yeah, tomorrow we'll probably have to spend a good amount of time just reorganizing and just putting everything where I want it. Okay guys, it is like, what time even is it? If it looks like I just woke up from an hour, it's because I've literally just been up for like 40 minutes. It is 6.47. I napped for so long today. <laughs> I slept through John Wick 2 and woke up at the end of John Wick 3. Uh, but good thing I just know this movie's good. Going into the movies tonight, we got um, a movie time for, I think it's 8.45, so a little late, but it's Saturday, so we'll be good. But anyways... I'm gonna make some dinner. I actually found this on TikTok. Um, the TikTok, I can't find it again, but I don't, so I don't know how she seasons her chicken, so I'm just gonna do my own kind of seasoning. Um, but anyways, it's chicken over orzo with some tzatziki dip, and then I got cherry tomatoes and cucumbers to mix in it as well, and we're gonna put the chicken on top. But, I have my water going. I just don't know what I want to season the chicken with. We're just, gonna, we're just gonna wing it. I'm just gonna throw some seasonings together and hope for the best. It's chicken. actually a 10 out of 10 it's really good for the chicken i ended up using garlic salt onion powder oregano thyme and old bay seasoning because i will use that an excuse for anything to put that on anything um but yeah it's really good and yeah i think it is a 10 out of 10 babe what do you think yeah 10 out of 10 delish delish but yeah we're gonna eat dinner and then i guess we have 
I know what time do you want to leave here? Um, like 8.20. Cool. Yeah, we have like 50 minutes, but we're gonna sit here and eat and then probably just chill until we get ready to go to the movies. But I definitely recommend this. and everything. I tried out this new breakfast recipe that I found on TikTok, but I didn't have the chili crunch oil, whatever. So I tried this chili sesame oil and it was not good. So I only ate half of it and I'm hoping Josh will either eat the other half when he gets home or my dad will eat it when he wakes up. But today we don't have a whole lot to do. Um, we are going to just do some morning skincare real quick. Get my hair out of my face. I'm gonna wash my face and then do some just very minor like skincare. I might do like it honestly. I might just start off the day with a face mask because I know I'm not gonna want to do it later. Okay, I'm gonna wash my face and then we're gonna do this beauty counter reflect effect and it's the AHA smoothing facial mask. I don't know if that's gonna clear up for you guys, but there she is. Gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna wash my face. This is the face wash I've been using. It's from Mirad. It smells absolutely delightful. I am obsessed with this scent. Okay. I feel like this is a little beauty counter contraption thing that my sister in law gave me for face masks. Just helps you scoop it and like apply it liberally. The stuff is so weird. Like the texture of it is kind of like aloe. Okay. All right. We just look extra slicked up now. It's beautiful. Then around my eyes, I'm going to use of my eye patches. These are just the Hyaluronic Cloud Hydrogel eye patches from Dr. Peter Thomas Roth. Dr. Thomas Roth. Peter Thomas Roth, yeah. They are literally my favorite. They're my favorite most when they're cold. I usually, and I used to when we were by our, living by ourselves, I loved having these stored in the fridge. But we literally have like no room in our fridge though now because there's four of us living here right now, but hopefully I can go back to that when my parents move out and I can have some like more room in the fridge. The like parents just don't ju understand skincare in the fridge. These are actually so good though. I did get my mom. I convinced her to buy some and now she's obsessed. I am also pretty sure that Taylor's mom also got some and loves them. Okay. Cool. There's our little skincare for the morning. All right, I'm gonna let this all sit on my face for, I think this mask says 10 minutes. Are you kidding me? Liz and I don't get along, you guys. Oh, that was, that was a me thing, not a you thing. Hey Google, set a timer for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes, starting now. Thanks, queen. Okay, looking gorgeous, we love it. We are gonna go to my closet and start reorganizing. Okay, so this is my new closet. The only thing is I can't decide like where I want what um, because I just, I'm really picky about my closet and also everything. I have to make it, put it all back into like, um, I like it to be as color coordinated as I possibly can 
just because it helps me and then on top of color coordination i like the lengths of the sleeves and all to like all so match so like a lot of my tank tops and it goes with t-shirts and then i'll go into like long sleeves and dresses that fall in the tank top category i just tuck them into themselves so they're shorter because i don't know i legit am probably just psychotic but that's just how i like it but now i have more space and so I'm thinking I want to put like all my sweat sets and sweatshirts together and then I want to try and keep like I guess maybe I can pull out more of my jammies because I've been having to fold all my PJs and then I can get my sweaters in a drawer. I don't know. I have a lot to think about and I think I just need to start doing stuff and moving stuff around um, and just hope for the best and hope that I figure it out along the way. And I think that's just what we're going to do. We play some music though. I finished my closet for now. I have all of my sweatshirts and all of my sweat sets all down here. They literally take up <laughs> the most space out of anything else in my closet. And then I hung my robes and then the silk PJs that I have year round. My holiday ones are stuffed in a corner that I'll show you in a minute. And then my long sleeve workout stuff and then the rest of all my workout stuff. And then I put my boots in here because I just didn't like how they looked on the ground and I wasn't able to like st shove them underneath the stuff like I was with these shoes. So I put them up there and I didn't want them too bent and stuff because I like my boots. I'm a boot girl. Then I just have my hat and then some extra bags here because I don't know what to do with that. I rearranged this. This has underwear and then I have bra, socks, swimsuits. And then I got like some bags, some hats, and then some other hats and winter stuff. And then I have sweaters shoved in here, but that's that's a drawer you open when you really mean business. And then I got all my pants and stuff here. This is some extra stuff that I'm storing in here too for Josh that doesn't necessarily fit. Here's a lot of holiday things. I can't decide what I want to keep or not. And Josh and I eventually in the next few weeks are probably going to go through and spring clean like and actually go through our clothes and see what we want to keep, what we want to donate, what we want to sell and all of that. But yeah, and then up here I just have all of my other stuff. And then I just have some extra jackets and stuff on here. I have a ton of nursing stuff here. Um, that stuff is just shoved in a corner right now because obviously that life of mine is up in the air. So we have that. And then over here I have this little desk. I moved all my jewelry and my perfume stuff. And then I have a whole drawer here of all my makeup. This drawer I put all my sunglasses and all of that in there. And then I just have some extra things down there. And that's it. That's all she wrote. And then also in the midst of that, my camera died. So I went and did the sheets. I got these like last March and they're so, so pretty. And the cream color just looks so good with our rugs. Um, so I've been switching this one out during like the spring and summertime because I really do love it. But yeah, that is my closet space. <sighs> we don't really have anything else on the itinerary today. So I think I'm just going to sit down. I have a video I really need to edit. Um, I was trying to post it this weekend, but the brand never got back to me in time. So now I think it's going to have to be a Monday post kind of thing. So that's okay though. It's fine. Oh my gosh, it's so hard. But yeah, I'm just going to go sit down on the couch and edit. Josh also just ordered us lunch from this restaurant called Poppy's. Um, I got a Santa Fe salad, he got a grilled shrimp salad, so we're gonna just edit and wait for that, and Josh also has golf on. It's been a little while. We have just been hanging out in the back. We've watched um, the change up, or the switch up, the change up, with Ryan Reynolds and Jason Bateman. Oh, and we played Harry Potter. Now I'm making us dinner. I was gonna make us this like green bean mushroom stir fry kind of dish with some salmon, 
but we are out of soy sauce and I was unaware of that, so I can't do that dish. So instead, we are just reheating up the orzo, and I put butter, parmesan, salt and pepper in it, and then I'm just doing some salmon, so. so oh, I should have done like a green bean side. I could have still used my green beans. No, that's okay. Well, anyways, that's our dinner. But, oh man, I forgot what I was doing in there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Update, I did not like the salmon, but Josh did. Josh liked it, so that's good. Um, anyways, I have a granola bar now. So I think I'm gonna make the bed real quick, and then I think we want to just chill a little bit longer, and then, whoa, sorry guys, I'm just showing you my back end. Um, I need to make this bed, and then I'm trying to decide if I want to take a bath or not tonight, but nonetheless, I think we want to like chill and watch another movie or something. We're having such a fun leisure week and weekend since our trip and it's been so awesome um but yeah so i'm trying to decide if i want to do that or not but if not we'll probably just shower before bed 